Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this one is all about witches. Uh, witches at Town Hall 10 and witches at Town Hall 9, showing two attacks from both Town Hall levels because it just seems like witches have just gone insane lately. We're seeing them so much now, especially at Town Hall 10. Town Hall 9, we're still seeing um, hogs, we're still seeing loons. Um, it's remarkable how everything is still working at Town Hall 9, but witches have definitely come to the foreground as uh, one of the popular strategies at Town Hall 9 now. They, for a while, were just kind of a novelty attack, but people are three-star bases pretty routinely with witches as well. So this one, um, this is, well, his name's Devin, uh, his real name, and maybe I'll have him on one time because he has so many three-stars uh, that I always show on the channel. Um, a lot of great attacks from him over the last, um, I don't know how many wars, a long time. Anyway, though, this is the strategy. Because there's a Lava Hound in the CC, the Queen, as well as, in this case, one Witch, I guess, just to to make things more interesting uh, and tank a little bit, the Queen walks around the outside of the base with some healers while the main force goes into the middle of the base. That's mainly bowlers. Um, pretty much all the spells are used there. And you can see that one Inferno Tower was targeting the Queen, but the bowlers take it out, so the Queen now is fine. She's still up. She's still walking a lot, um, on, along the outside of the base. On the other side, a golem and a few witches. So basically, that's the strategy. You start off with a queen walk um, going down one side of the base. But don't let your queen walk for too long. Because what you want to happen is for your kill squad to go in the base and take out what probably would be an inferno, an expo, all these defenses that would otherwise be taking her out. You want them to go down um, to your main force going in the base. And your main force is mainly bowlers. Witches aren't that good inside the base, so mainly going to be bowlers, um, your choice of spells, typically two jumps and uh, two rages, one heal is very common. Sometimes you can freeze depending um, on the base, but yeah, and then on the outside of the base, on the other side, opposite your queen, you have a witch, uh, actually a few witches, sometimes a few bowlers, possibly a golem. I'm not sure if the golem was intentional. Uh, on this attack, probably not. Typically, it's just a few bowlers, a few witches walking along the other side. Basically, what this does is it makes the witch bowler um, a better strategy because the queen walks around the outside. She doesn't deal with the lava hound, assuming it is a lava hound, which it almost always is. She doesn't have to deal with the lava hound, and she can get some great extra value. You don't have to use witches and bowlers on both sides and spread yourself too thin because your queen and the healers get one side, and your queen can do a great job if you time her right. Don't send her too early, but don't send her too late. You want her to uh, move at the same speed as the troops going through the middle of the base, as well as the troops on the other side, the witches and bowlers, uh, going along the other side, taking out the out uh, the exterior defenses there as well. Um, okay, let's uh, take a look at Thor here. This one, not using any healers. Let me go ahead and fast forward to when it starts here. Um, where is he coming from? The top corner and uh, the bottom, or the just the right corner, and then his main force going in at about 2 o'clock there. So um, actually it's kind of a, I didn't really watch this attack um, and pay too much attention to be honest guys. Uh, yeah, just coming straight at this Inferno Tower it looks like. Witches going in, boulders going in. The funneling a little bit sketchy, but everything actually goes in. Uh, fortunately enough for him, you can see um, not quite as finessed or as poised as, as Devin's attack, a little bit more of a brute force, just pushing his way through the base here. The queen inside, she's going to pop the hound, which isn't the most efficient use of her. I like her doing the walk along the outside. I feel like that's a better way to use her, and sometimes you only need three healers on her um, when she goes along the outside, especially if the bowlers in the middle will help clear out what, what would otherwise be targeting her in the middle of the base, such as expos and all that good stuff. But um, the queen does eventually take out the lava pups, helps out, and he gets a pretty good force of witches on the outside of the base there. And that's what you want to do. If you're doing your attack like this on a base where you're just kind of pushing your way into the middle, you want some little, um, well, first of all, you want to get the middle of the base taken out. That's basically going to be 
um, all of this stuff that can't be reached from the outside of some troops wrapping around. So we're talking Inferno Towers, Expos mainly. And then this outer ring of defenses uh, can all be taken out by your witches and your bowlers if you have a, a sufficient group going along the outside. And if you're using only witches and bowlers, um, oftentimes you will. And you can see that's definitely true in this attack. So uh, good stuff here to, um, to uh, who is this? This is Thor. Good, good attack to Thor. Getting the job done. Uh, we'll fast forward to the end because the uh, bomb tower is still up, but that's about it. Actually got a little bit close here. Um, but yeah, they do get the base taken out. Okay, cool. Uh, let's keep moving to the Town Hall 9s. Obviously, we lost some attacks due to... I'm not even sure what it was. I think maybe just some small um, maintenance or whatever. Uh, we lost some replays there, but um, for whatever reason, these witch attacks, both done by uh, San, were... I think, yeah, San Ali. He has two accounts, I believe. Um, these last uh, two attacks were both witch attacks, so I guess kind of the cleanups, um, both successful. So good job here. A um, little bit risky using witches with all the splash damage when you have the Valks, the baby dragon. Uh, that's pretty much going to eat up your witches every time, so you can't take out a CC that way. I'm not sure what the idea was there, um, but I guess it just shows how powerful the strategy is, despite that um, pretty stupid thing to do. Uh, he still gets the three stars, so no offense, but um, you cannot take out Valks and Baby Dragons with Witches. Splash damage will kill the uh, Scalies every time. So the, the heroes go along the outside of the base, kind of an interesting attack here. The Witches going along the other side with the healers on them, and then just that main force going in. At Town Hall 9, Witches can do more inside the base. And it's probably a good thing that they can because you can't bring more than five bowlers. So sometimes you need something else to go in the base to help support. And the witches are more effective inside the base at Town Hall 9 because you don't have the Inferno Towers mainly. And um, there's just less uh, heat in the core of the base so they can kind of get the skellies out and do their thing a little bit better. Now he kind of starts to get wrecked along the inside of the base there, but he gets a pretty good part of it cleared out, has a bo uh, bowler, a few golemites still doing some work, but the heroes along the outside of the base definitely going to be key here because they'll wrap up that cannon and then they'll kind of converge in that last bit here. He still had a rage for whatever reason, so he rages up like the healers on top of the witches. Just a weird attack here. And uh, they stay up, I guess, long enough to kind of distract everything for the heroes mainly and get the wizard tower taken out, which was cool. Um, I believe that witch will go down to the Tesla right there. And uh, just when basically all the witches are dead, here's the queen with all her archers, which can actually tank pretty well. Um, after you hit that ability uh, towards the end of the attack, those archers can do a great job tanking. Uh, he also gets the benefit of one healer still being up. So we'll fast forward because it does take a while. But the three star does happen. Uh, we got a builder hut. Yep, builder hut. Okay, that will do it for this. Uh, not this video. Have one more uh, at attack. That'll do it for that attack. But we have one more um, attack before this video is over. Um, this one, another uh, witch attack, and you can see eleven witches. So at town hall nine, especially, go heavy on the witches if you're doing this at town hall ten. You might bring five or six witches, but the bowlers are going to be the important part because they are what's going inside the base. Do not try to send more than... I wouldn't really even send any witches in the base, to be honest. They're just not effective inside the base. Um, you can get two bowlers for the price of one witch in terms of troop space. Is that right? Yeah, 12 troop space for a witch. So... Um, you're going to be much better having those extra two bowlers, especially because bowlers do so much better when they're raged up and you can use like all your spells in the core of the base, just push them along. Whereas the witches um, are a little bit more independent. They don't need the spells as much, but also they're going to do better along the outside of the base with a few bowlers to back them up. So that's Town Hall 10. Uh, Town Hall 9, a little bit of a different story, of course. Heroes going inside the base, which honestly is where they belong. You don't want your heroes wrapping around the outside of the base like they did last attack, um, that was kind of a, a freak thing, but in general, you want them in the base there, uh, supporting your golems, your bowlers, and everything. You need that DPS to hollow, hollow out the base. Basically, he needs to get in there and get maybe that expo. That's the most important part. Um, 
because if the expo goes down, everything else is within grasp of any troops going around the outside of the base and wrapping around to the back. Now, he gets much better than that. He gets pretty much all the way through the base here. And remember to look at the compartments. Um, I've talked about this a lot before, but I guess it's a good thing to mention once again. Um, you want the compartments, if you're trying to cut through the middle of the base, to be not allowing your troops to wander. You can see wall here wall here and then over here he has these walls just kind of borders for his for his kill squad not going to let them wander off to either side going to keep the heroes going on a straight path to that back expo which is very important to get taken out because it would be difficult to reach so ton of troops left up this one was a awesome attack so good job there thanks for watching hope you liked it which is um start using them especially town hall 10 at town hall 9 you might have something working for you um, although I would recommend getting to know this strategy, learning it because it can be effective, but Town Hall 10, so much so, um, oftentimes it's, it, you can make it look easy at Town Hall 10, despite how difficult three stars tend to be. So that will do it. Um, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bisect the Tron out.